is dead. So a big thing that happened this week. Um, I don't know if you noticed it. I fucking certainly did. Uh, but uh, the the MAGA crowd, the free speech absolutists, the anti cancel culture folks are um, well, they're having a normal one, I guess. All right. They're now called the white napkin people. All right. The white napkin people. <laughs> Fuck. Ugh, Trump got shot. I'm going to wear this. That you know. was the weirdest. Th- I don't like. Okay, I'm sorry. There's no greater indication that you're in a fucking cult that like dear leader comes yeah. out and he, he's got something and you all just like blindly start doing like what? What is wrong with you? Like, Are you I'm guys sure okay? Say it was in the sign of support, but I was like, if I got a shot in the ear and I'm wearing a bandage, I don't want everyone else wearing a bandage too. <laughs> they should have just worn dogs. They should have just worn dog cones, I think. They should all just gotten dog cones and they could do dog cone support of Donald Trump. He should have worn a dog cone too. If I were Donald Trump, I would just wear like the most insane shit. I would like tie an eggplant to my head just to see if all my idiot supporters would tie an eggplant to their heads. I but think I they do that to an extent. No, they do. Like, They're, just look they at how the ridiculous hat. they get. AOC, for example. Example. I can't talk. There's, well, it's she'll the, say here's, anything and do anything. Runs out on stage like she's a music st- star. Like what the f- is going yeah. on? It's uh, we're just we're just super down bad. But uh, I digress. The reason I'm bringing this up is that uh, the the anti cancel culture free speech crowd uh, engaged in a lot of cancel culture, and I'm not surprised by this because I've always maintained the position that there's no actual difference between liberals or conservatives. There never was. Um, these are people who these are people who don't have actual convictions. They don't have principles. They are in a team and all of the rules apply when it's for their team and none of the rules apply when it's against their team. That's always been the liberal playbook. That's always been the conservative playbook. Mm-hmm. So without further ado, I was Tara Reid. Yeah, liberals didn't no, want to believe exactly. Yeah, believe rape apologists thought that was bad guys. Yeah. No, that's my favorite thing about that whole saga. It's believe all women until your believe all women is inconvenient to your dear leader, and then it's mm-hmm. we're going to drop believe all women, right? Absolutely no yep. principles. None of these fucking people have. So without further ado. Let's get into what happened this week. So, just going to go through this. So, this Libs a TikTok account who I am ninety percent concerned. Uh, I who I am ninety percent convinced is probably just a Fed. Um, I think a lot of these big right wing accounts probably are at least Fed adjacent. Uh, given. But, um, so this uh, elderly lady, this is the lady in question, by the way. I'll play the original video. This is the lady in question. So she's an elderly lady. And she made a comment on Facebook stating, you know, I wish, uh, I wish the shooter didn't miss when it came to Trump. Now that's a shitty thing to say. I don't I don't personally wish Trump uh would have gotten assassinated. I I do wish um that he is tried as the war criminal that he fucking is. Same with Joe Biden, same yep. with Barack Obama, same with George W. Bush, same with all of them. That's my That's what I want to see mission. more than their deaths. I want to see them held accountable. I want yeah. to see them in jail. Here's the thing. If Donald Trump's killed, he's not punished for the for the countless brown people who died during his administration. Same thing with Joe Biden. But at this point, you can't hold Joe Biden accountable because Joe Biden, Joe Biden doesn't know what Joe Biden is. 
you can't punish a person who is. I mean, at this point, like I, like, he's not even saying full sentences, people. He's like a week oh. away from just like disappearing into the woods, and we'll never see him again. Do you know? Uh, I ha- I want to know how much drugs they allegedly had to give him for that debacle on stage. Like he was debate? probably jacked up. Yeah. Ah, uh, dude. Like, because he had to have so much going in him to get through that thing, and he still couldn't. Not even a chance. I mean, like, here's the thing. A lot of people don't get this, but like, this is, uh, and I can speak with authority being a psych human, but, um, it's called sundowning. So people dementia, what happens is when it gets later in the evening, uh, they start losing control of their faculties. That's why when you see Joe Biden early in the day, he's somewhat coherent. He seems like somewhat with it. And if you had, you know, we've all had grandparents, we've all had that. They're very sharp, uh, you know, at the beginning of the day. Um, Then when it comes closer to later on, they start kind of, you know, you got to bring up task manager. So basically what I'm trying to get at here is she made a comment that she wishes the shooter didn't miss. And so this this uh, this dude, I don't think it was libs of TikTok, but libs of TikTok kind of popularized this video where yeah. someone came in and basically pulled a Karen and got mad because her Fifi's got fucking hurt. Um, yeah. That she said a mean thing about Orange Man. And let me remind everybody, this is the party that cried and pissed their pants for years on end about cancel culture. They cried and pissed their pants for years on end, okay, about uh, causing people to lose their jobs. They said, that's not right. You shouldn't lose your job for making a decision. You shouldn't lose your job for your perspective on a thing. That's the party that said all this shit. And for the record, I have always opposed vaccine mandates. I proudly supported the trucker convoy because I'm actually for bodily autonomy across the board. I don't give a shit. If if you had a different perspective, I'm sorry, but fuck you. You're wrong. Um, And I'm right. And sucks to be you. But. HD. Hold on, just let me, I saw a connection loss, so I'm just making sure that we're still connected. Okay, cool. Go get your back. All right. Okay, cool. Um, all right. So, as a result of this, Home Depot, and we're going to be getting into Home Depot a little further in a bit. Home Depot replied and said, we can confirm that she no longer works at the Home Depot. So, The party of anti-cancel culture and free speech got an elderly working class woman fired for for saying mean things about Donald Trump. And I'm sorry, if that's not the most on brand example of fucking MAGA conservative hypocrisy, I don't know what is. Like, but he went out of his way to find her. Yeah, no, he literally hunted her down. Like he, mm-hmm. he, he, like this is like doxing. It's that. Oh, bad. that's exactly what it is. And the yeah, hilarious you know, thing. Conservatives always have always been like this. Yep. Think back to Cap or uh, Colin Kaepernick. Hmm. And the hilarious thing about this is that libs of TikTok, this account, is now going around and doxing people. For saying mean words about Trump. Saying mean words about the Donald. She's doxing people. Libs of TikTok made her whole fucking personality about getting doxxed herself. She made it a massive outrage about how she was doxxed and her identity was revealed to the public. Which, for the record, I don't agree with either. I think that was really fucking shitty. I don't think, I don't condone that behavior. 
I don't condone getting people fired for their words. I don't condone people getting punished in any way, shape or form for any kind of speech. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing about free speech. Here's the thing. I'm going to drop a little bit of a bomb on people. If you say the following, I'm for free speech, but you're not for free speech because there's no but after that. Because the second you start adding conditions to free speech, you're not about free speech. This is one of the few issues in the world that is actually very black and white. You either support people sharing their opinions and expressing their thoughts without repercussions, or you don't. That's it. And the party of free speech hilariously is showing their whole asses here because they're essentially saying well, we sh- people. Hmm? I was saying we should be able to shut down bad ideas with conversation. That's, that's what we should be able to do. Yes, like if someone exactly. decides to come up and tells me about how they think white supremacy is a good idea, I'm not going to slap them, but I'll make damn sure they know why they're wrong. Yes, that's how you defeat. Because here's the thing, guys. If you if you silence, if you punish people for their speech, if you silence people for their speech, they're still going to, they won't be able to say anything, but they'll still think it. And that'll inform their behavior. But, but, and I taught, I say this as a proud Marxist who has radicalized many right to far right people. Just through the expression of my ideas, um, through the expression of how we do need to give the working class more agency and how the capitalist billionaire class controls your life and makes your life directly miserable for no fucking reason, how we need to have more democracy in the workplace. Okay. I, I say this as someone who has actually convinced people with my ideas that they can have better ideas than the ones in their head. If you shut that shit down, then you prevent that from ever happening because that person is just going to keep believing what they believe. And if you don't have an opportunity to present your speech to their speech, then you're not going to change any minds. You're not going to change any hearts. People should never let people tell them how to think or what they can think. Just because you Mm -hmm. think something that someone doesn't agree with doesn't mean you're wrong. Even like, even people that believe in like the most outrageous conspiracy theories, like eh, believe what you want. It's like at the end of the day, it's not at the end of the day, it's going to be what we do as people working together. That's going to matter. Yeah. I mean, like I heard this crazy conspiracy theory that the CIA Violently coups most socialist countries. Can you believe that? Crazy. Um, I'm shocked. Yeah. But yeah, my point is like, you're not shutting speech down because what this essentially is signaling, what this is essentially signaling, is it signaling to the masses that there are consequences for you not having the right opinion? And I find it really suspect that this is right before Trump's, let's face it, probably going to win. Unless they nominate Hillary and she literally drains his soul live on air in front of a horrified populace, which might happen. I mean, well, but, um, Mortal Kombat style where like Shay Suzung just grips his soul and just rah, and pills it in. I'm kind of I'm kind of hoping they both like like achieve their final forms and they like throw down like Godzilla versus King Kong style. Like she, she like rips off the mask and she's actually Mephistopheles. And then he rips off the mask and he's secretly Baphomet. It's like a battle between devils and demons and shit. But, uh, I'm a huge nerd. So, but that would be base. That would be a lot more base than just us. Like being really depressed because the two choices are evil or orange evil. evil. (laughs) <laughs> or evil would you or like orange, orange evil? Aid evil or white lady evil hmm. <laughs> would you like orange evil or carrot evil yeah what flavor of evil would you like uh mm, it, can i vote for not can i vote for no genocide uh no that's not on the ballot i'm sorry 
you sorry you we've won. we went to court to have that taken off the ballot oh yeah you you actually have right to then. click the genocide box down there <laughs>